I'm actually really surprised by the play styles here. I have favored Triggers down in this matchup. They are a setup team that resembles Final Boss, except it seems they're a bit more explosive at times with players like Hysteria and Victory X stepping up huge where as we just see consistent play out of Final Boss. Meanwhile, Straight Rippin, they are always a question mark in my mind because they never seem to play with setup. They are aggressive, they continuously put the pressure on you, and sometimes it comes back to bite them in the ass. Oh, you're absolutely right, but I mean, I've actually heard, heard it referred to as a frustrating play style by people who are very close to the team. The fact of the matter is, though, very similar to a team called Carbon that we saw in 2006, who played a swarming style, not worrying about the setup, basically saying, we will outskill you player by player, and we'll worry about the strategy and the setups later on. That's what Straight Ribbon does when they're on. The problem was, at the metal end, at least, they were not on. They were outplayed by several teams. Right now, though, they're not just hanging with Trigger Down. They're, they're doing what they need to do, which is win the games you need to win and stay close to the game that you have to try to win. And this game type, for me as well, I favor Trigger Down. But the more time goes off the clock and keeping that score close, the more it favors Great Trigger. Absolutely, but we just saw a huge play there by Hysteria. He was going up against T Square. He had zero shield, and yet he had the objective mind to throw a grenade where the oddball carrier was running, and it stopped the oddball player picking up the kill and stopping the time for straight ribbon, and that allowed Triggers down to maintain a one-second lead. And no, it's not a whole lot of time, but that is a huge play in the terms of confidence here for Triggers down. They're not going to let straight ribbon run away with it. No, you're right. But again, you say it's a three or four-second game at this point. We're at four and a half minutes left. You gotta go on a run here. You can't be worried about five or six seconds at a time. You need to get 10 or 20. At one point, Trade Rippin had a 17 second lead. Now it looks like it's going down, going down to the wire because neither team can separate itself. And again, Aaron, I'll say this one more time. In a close game coming down from what I've seen so far in this series, I'm gonna give the advantage to Trade Rippin. Oh! Thought that was a headshot. Fear still trying to go to work. He's only been able to hit body shots with this sniper. That's unlike Fear normally. He can hit those tough shots, but so far it just seems that Triggers Down is slightly off their game, but they try to set up over on Blue, but T-Squared had the mind to get in there and play ball, and he is still staying alive, giving his team a 15-second lead on elbow with a shield maybe every seven seconds. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, what what's... I, don't, I can't understand how Triggers Down could allow him to continue to get that time. They knew where he was, he pulled the ball, he went on a 19, uh, I think a 21 second run right there, and you know what, time's running out, we're under 4 minutes, you can't do that. Alrighty, well Straight Rippin and T-Squared are sitting pretty here, top blue. T-Squared spotting the player, top snipe still looking, bottom middle, looking for where the players called it out. SK is going to grab the ball though and run it back to the snipe tower, and we have a great setup for Triggers Down. I'm going to go switch around here so you guys can see what's going on. We got the sniper in the hands of his stereo. That is their best player with that sniper rifle. I'm sorry, Victory X actually has it. So Victory X is bringing the raw power to Triggers Down that they were missing with Loki. Victory X now is able to use the sniper rifle equally as well as Hysteria. And these guys are able to outslay at some points. Right now they're struggling early on. Oh, SK unable to pick up the kill as that was an amazing rush by Legit and the rest of Straight Ripon oh, to break through that Triggers Down setup. I was just about to comment on how well they were set up, but Legit and Elmite, with the help of T Squared's initial push, were able to break in. You see SK hunting that camo player. He saw the shields recharging, and now he's going to be forced to back up. It's 122 to 120. Two games to zero. Straight Ripon leading this series. I tell you what, we're at the two minute mark. Mark, folks, and right now, straight ribbon gaining time up eight seconds and trying to build on it. And three down for triggers down. All right, well, I'm they got the, the ball in the hands of Neighbor, and Neighbor's got the camo, so he is a tough target at the moment. They got about a 20 second lead now with only a minute 40 left in the game. Triggers down, needs to make a push, they need to do it now. If Straight Ripping gets a 30 second lead like at this point, right it there. is going to be tough. Neighbor playing ball while he still was at an advantage, could have grabbed some silly time, but instead he played ball. Oh, but T-Squared taken out there. Yeah, and he did that Sundance because the rest of his teammates on Snipe Tower were all killed. He was the last one alive, decided to play the ball rather than give it up over to Triggers Down. 
22nd differential here. Victor X holding the ball and check out the sniper double kill from Fear itself. He just barely missed the triple. Victor X still holding the ball though. Bottom middle and T squared is pushing in on him aggressively. They need 15 seconds to get back in this game. Only 60 seconds left in the match. I don't know if there's enough time, Bucket. I know that they could do it, but I don't know that Straight Ribbon's gonna let them do it. Time is their biggest enemy right now. And check out Victor X going huge. And there's the double. He got the beat down. But all four are down for this triggers game. down. That is going to be. That's no, a backbreaker. It's too early. Right it's too it's early a backbreaker. To I, I know, but I'm calling it already. I know it was 48 kills last time. But mathematically, it's not over. But I'm telling you, it's over. T squared, hugging a tree right now. now that's Get neighbor. Time. And that oh, is neighbor. going to do it, Sundance. Victory X, the last member of line, trying to hold it, but now it is mathematically impossible. We have straight ripping advancing yep. the winner's bracket round four. A huge congratulations to those guys. They played phenomenal all series long. Whoa, big series right there. T squared pumping it up. That's right. He's fired up. We got something special for you. We got something special. We're going to go over right now. I think we got the final boss matchup. A little bonus coverage for you right now. Final boss backed into a corner. Not done by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely fighting for their lives. It's two games to none. They're down, and they're losing in the third game. Let's see if we can get some bonus coverage. Believe the hype? Who? Who? Uh, what? What? All right, so here we go, folks. You can see it's a little bit of a different setup for us for here. But this is final boss. Fighting for their lives. Definitely not expecting to be in this position at this point in the tournament. Wow, this is sending ripples throughout the entire building. We're even we're making up to make sure we can get in there to see what's yeah. going on. Now, you know, I'm just going to say right now, they're losing this game. at the Guardian oddball game we just saw. We just saw a member of Believe the Hype play ball. It's 210 to 92. Believe the hype is absolutely dominating final boss in this series. And they are looking to close it out with just 35 seconds to go here. I'm sorry. Believe the who? Can you <laughs> name a player on that team for me right now? No. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, folks. I thought I knew a lot about the MLG Pro Circuit, but apparently I did not know about a little team called Believe the Hype, which looks like they're we'll about Look at final boss's face this Sunday. Final boss to the losers. 210 to 100. I'm not sure how much time we have left in that game, but at the moment, it looks like Final Boss is in a bad, bad place. And right now, guys, there's a stampede of people going over there to witness a taste of history, trying to find an angle in on that. As Yeah, Final yeah, Boss, you can read their faces. It says everything. Now, remember, this does not mean that Final Boss would be out of the event. It just means that they would have a tough road. They would have to go down to the loser's bracket far earlier than they would want to. Now, uh, this shot right here doesn't do me much good, folks. It's a little too wide. We're coming in here. You can see him. They're and Walsh seems to be giving up there. Oh! And believe the hype has... Standing up. Is it over? Final boss has been mathematically eliminated. There is not enough time left. 3-0. Believe the hype has sent final boss to the loser's bracket early. 3-0. I'm shocked. I actually had Final Boss cruising to the championship. Tomorrow morning, winner's bracket round four. That is straight ripping playing. Believe the hype on that side of the bracket. On the other side, it looks like we have Instinct and Classic. Or are they going to get upset oh. as well? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you one thing right now. A lot of people said straight ripping was going to have a tough time on their side of the bracket. And Believe the Hype could be the team providing that challenge. But you know what? you got to feel a little bit differently than if you're going to face off against a little bit of a Goliath named Final Boss, which was who they expected to play tomorrow. Sounds like you've got a giant killer walking around here. You know what? It's a new year. It's a new game. Anything can happen. We said we had six teams that were queued up who could win the championship. Looks like you might have to add a seventh to that list. Wow. All right, guys. So straight rip and nonetheless, they win three games, nothing over. A triggers down team that was not intimidated. Two close games, but straight ripping, showing a lot of composure. This is ESPN Saturday Night. We'll be right back. The 2008 Major League Gaming Pro Circuit, powered by Xbox, is presented by GameStop and brought to you by Bungie, Dr. Pepper, and Stride. 